reference data, also known as static data or lookup data, doesn't often change. Country codes, currencies and conversion rates, for example. Getting this kind of data into your SSDT project, however, and updating it when necessary, isn't particularly simple, and usually involves custom post-deployment scripts. This can cause problems when source control in your projects, and can make it difficult to discern changes to reference data in deployment scripts. Redgate Reference Data Manager handles this process from start to finish, giving you greater control over your reference data. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to use the extension and explain some of the components we use. In this example project, I'll be using the extension to update the reference data in the Currencies table. If I right-click on the table in the Solution Explorer, I now have the option to add reference data. After reloading the project, there's a new reference data file nested under the table in the Solution Explorer. This is where we'll add our reference data. We already have some existing data in our target database, so the first thing I'll do is script that out into insert statements. By copying these insert statements into the new reference data file in my project, I'm basically updating the reference data in my project to match the data that exists on the target. Now that the reference data file is up to date with the target, I'll make some changes to the data, then deploy the project to the target database. I'm using insert statements here, regardless of whether I'm making an update to an existing row or creating a new row altogether. During deployment, Reference Data Manager will compare the source and target data and generate the necessary insert, update or delete statements for my changes. Now that I've saved the reference data file, I'm ready to publish those changes to my target database. After adding a database connection, I'll select Generate Script to create a deployment script for the project. This lets me review the changes before deployment. Here, I can see the update and the new row I created. I'm ready to make these changes to the target database, so all I need to do is execute the script. Checking the currencies table on the target, I can confirm that the changes have taken place. Once you have the reference data file in your project, you can easily modify and source control the reference data. When you need to make changes, Reference Data Manager makes them clear in the deployment script, so your team can easily track what's happening.